Tim Messett is the Acting Assistant Secretary for Financial Stability at the Treasury Department. He joins us now from our Washington newsroom to discuss the significance of AIG's repayment plan. Mr. Messett, welcome back to Bloomberg News. Always good to have you on. Thank you, Mark, for having me. Sir, on September 30th, AIG said that the Treasury's plan would be to dispose of AIG shares, quoting here, on the open market. Now it seems that the plan is to hold stock offerings. Why the equity offering approach? Well, first of all, let me say we haven't made any decisions about exactly how we sell the shares. We will own 92% of the uh, company when this transaction is completed. But we're really focused right now on completing this. This is a major milestone in recovering taxpayer funds. Does this have anything to do with the amount of city shares that Treasury was able to sell in one day just this week? We look at each situation separately, Mark, and our strategy will just depend on what we think is appropriate for that situation. Again, we've made it clear all along that we intend to dispose of our investments as soon as practicable, but in an orderly manner, and we'll decide how to do that uh, in the days ahead. I think the important thing to remember, though, is why we did this in the first place. We didn't do this because AIG asked us to help them. We did this because our economy was on the brink back in September of 2008. And and had we let AIG collapse at that time, in those circumstances, the consequences would have been catastrophic. So that's why we did this. And the good news today is, only two years later, we are in a position to recover our entire investment. And that really, I think, underscores that the overall strategy that the government followed in dealing with this financial crisis succeeded. It was fast. It was forceful. And that's why, really, we're in a position today that we may be able to recover every single dollar we invested, as well as make a profit. But, of course, that will depend on the market price in the future. Absolutely. And I was going to say, sir, at this point, then, uh, what can you say to taxpayers? Can they be assured that they're going to get the maximum profit uh, possible here? We will do everything we can to recover all taxpayer dollars invested. And as I say, at today's price, if we just looked at our holdings and valued them at today's price, the taxpayer would earn a profit when we look at the overall Treasury investment in AIG. Uh, how long is it going to take to dispose of the AIG stake? We have not determined that, Mark, and it's really premature. As I say, we're really focused on taking this one step at a time. It's been a major effort to get to this place. And let me say also where we are today is not only a credit to the overall strategy of the government, but it also reflects a lot of hard work of a lot of individuals, including the, obviously the company, in terms of de-risking its business and uh, selling off non-core assets. But decisions as to how we uh, sell the stake, how long it takes, and uh, so forth will be determined in the months ahead. Mr. Messett, you uh, just a moment ago were, were uh, kind enough to at least give us a, a partial timeline. Just give our viewers and, and folks out there who just may be curious about this whole AIG saga a sense of what it would have meant to the U.S. economy as a whole if AIG had collapsed. Oh, I think it would have been catastrophic. I think as both Chairman Bernanke and Secretary Geithner have said, we were on the precipice. We were at risk of going into a second Great Depression. And as tough as this recession has been, uh, had we let uh, AIG fail, the consequences, the ripple effect, the right. dominoes and so forth, right. could have plunged us into a, a, a recession, the likes of which, uh, depression rather, the likes of which we have not seen since the Great Depression. Mr. Messett, in our last 20 seconds, I know Americans are, are, are a little bit skittish about this, about this bailing out of these entities that are too big. Can you assure them that this isn't going to happen again? Sure. Well, as well they should be. I mean, it was terrible that we had to do this, and it was grossly unfair. And uh, the good news is that we have passed financial regulatory reform, which will give 
the government the tools that we did not have at that time. Yeah. But we worked with the tools we had, we stabilized the system, and now our focus is on exiting the investments and, of course, continuing to try to speed this economic recovery so yeah. that the millions of Americans who were hit hurt by this right. uh, uh, recover as well. All right. Tim Messett, Acting Assistant Secretary for Financial Stability. Thank you.